of Aaron, a broken world torn asunder by greed and the struggle for power. The gods have grown weak, their power stolen, bound by mortals to magical gems. This dark hour was known as the Rapture, a cataclysmic event which plunged the world into chaos. Now, the kingdoms of man, far to the east, are divided. Dwarfs and elves far north, bitter enemies over conflicts long forgotten. Nomadic tribes wander the south shores for their lost homes. The halflings and gnomes living together far out west. In the middle of all this, the Badlands. A place where only one rule applies. Survival of the fittest. But also the place where fame and fortune awaits those brave enough to seek it. The ones mad enough to try are also known as adventurers. This is our world. Welcome to our Dungeons and Dragons show, The Gems of Power. Um, and hello everybody and welcome, welcome to our show. Let me unmute my co-hosts over on here and welcome to the Gems of Power. Welcome to our premiere. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, the half of this. Okay, before we do anything else, let's see who are the amazing people who now join us today. Let's take them as you see them on stream. Neil Koibu Erickson, who are you and what do you do? I am Reginald Scale Splitter. <laughs> no, 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 no character. <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> uh, I am a D&D guy. I, I do a lot of D&D stuff on Twitch. I do Roleplay Solemn with JP and Misclicks with the misclicks, and then uh, we do Honor Bound with Chucky, and Dyson with Death with Ryan, and Age of Strife, never. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much all I do. That and have internet problems, um, which result in me not actually being able to stream. So, that's me. Yep. Okay, so Distracted Elf, who are you oh. and what do you do? Oh, who am I? I? I am Distracted Elf. I stream a variety of things. Um... I do some Pathfinder uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, but otherwise, and uh, Saturdays, Rise of Rune Lords occasionally. Um, but uh, other than that, I stream every day except Sunday, <laughs> random video game stuff that I feel like streaming. Yay! Justin, what's up? <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, guys. Um, I'm Cavalier Guest on Twitch. Um, I play a lot of D&D, as it turns out, on Twitch. Uh, and I mean, most of you know that I'm in mean, on some other Chucky's campaigns, and I also stream Hearthstone primarily uh, Monday through Friday. So Blackrock Mountain today, for the record, second week's coming out. I'll be doing that probably like right after this campaign ends. So. Okay, next so in line, Fuzzy, what's up? Ah, uh, hello. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Wait. Uh, I'm fuzzy. I don't normally do cam stuff, so I'm like slightly ill at ease. What? What? Huh? No, no, nothing. <laughs> yes, nothing and I you know. do variety streaming and things. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> I'm great, me. <laughs> <laughs> right, your, your, your cam is a bit unsynced, but it's cool. It's cool. As it? oh, as long as okay. we can hear you, it's all good. And uh, last, right. okay, sorry about that. But not least, all right. Crab Taco. Cool. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Clown Taco. You know me as the fat guy who pretends he has biceps and muscles and stuff with the beard, does a lot of role play in random games. Anyway, I can like make it work. Been playing a lot of uh, Dark Souls recently, having a lot of fun on that. And uh, just kicking butt in general. That's about it, really. Um, I stream pretty much every weekday, just no weekends because I chill. That's a sub Sunday, then whatever, right? We got ourselves a sub Sunday. That's me. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's about it for our player introductions. Uh, now, there's going to be a couple of shoutouts I need to do because there's a lot of events that we're doing with this, and you guys are going to love them. Uh, let's go with the most interesting one first. Uh, that's going to be right into our stream. Um, the format of the show is going to be about each month we're going to be changing DMs. I'm going to be the first one, and then as we go on, we're going to have these uh, story arcs, basically four or five sessions or so. And after that, I'm going to be passing the gem of power to somebody else. 
who's gonna take the reins of DMing, and we'll see how who and how that works as we go on. But be sure that everybody on this cast is gonna be DMing each other eventually. From from pro to new buy, I'm everybody's to gonna do it. To <laughs> last. <laughs> Okay, and besides that, um, let's talk about the other events we have planned for you. Like every story arc at the end, we're gonna be doing a Q and A special episode. Uh, basically, we're gonna be just like this and answering questions from chat. So that's gonna be every time the DM changes. That's kind of the signal of when the DM changes. And besides that, our other event is a fan out call out, artist call out. Uh, I like to call it. We want you and your art with that American dude with the top hat and the white beard looking at you and pointing. Well, Uncle Sam? Uncle Sam, yes. <laughs> it's American pointing to Wow. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> it's okay, so, he's Romanian. Why would he know who Uncle Sam is? It makes perfect see, sense. See, it makes perfect sense. So let's see well, your what this is like actually. He's infested the entire world, so you know, you should know. I, I'm trying to give him some slack. Infested. Who is the no, he's never cut anybody any slack, God. Just enough to hang himself with. Yeah. Don't don't add people to the Skype group, people. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was completely by accident. Totally my fault. <laughs> no problem. Don't worry about it. Okay, and what that actually means is that everybody out there, if you're an artist and you're trying to just launch off your fan art or your career, you can send us fan art of scenes, caricatures of the prayers, fan art of the whole party and like their characters, whatever you'd like. What your wings and names on it, and we're gonna be destroying it on stream and shouting you out. So that's basically how we prize ourselves with awesome art and also help you out with your your artist career. So if that's something you're interested in, there is a uh, email that my moderator is showing in chat, and it is the gems of power at gmail dot com. I'm gonna be fan art. You made an email just for that? Yes, we made an email just for that. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's talk what is D&D. Because I know a lot of people here, the viewers, have come from other communities who don't know what D&D is. So let's see what is D&D. I'm, I'm going to ask one of my one of the longest playing D&D streamers over on here. So Neil. What is D&D? <laughs> I know I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> uh, what is D&D for you? Uh, Come on. You want me to take that Come on. Come on. Hold on. There's a, there's, I know it's in the here somewhere. I'm waiting. Once upon it, a time, time, long, long ago... No. Dungeons & Dragons role-playing game is about storytelling in worlds of swords and sorcery. It shares elements with childhood games like make-believe. Like these games, D&D is driven by imagination. It's all about picturing the towering castle beneath the stormy night sky and imagining how a fantasy adventure might react to the challenges that the scene presents unfairly by the Dungeon Master. See? Perfect. That's what D&D is, for those who don't know. And that's what we are going to be doing today. So, guys, I think we've spent enough time out of game. Do you want to jump in and, and meet our awesome characters in an awesome world? Of yes. Of course. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So let's see. This is the map of the world of Erin that you guys uh, on stream are seeing right now. And we're going to be starting an adventure. Yes. That's what? a nice map. Wow. It's, it's Sorry. Just unrelated. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's actually uh, a Roll20 being just amazing with its marketplace. A very big variety of artwork that you can use. Nonetheless, we're going to be starting our campaign in the city of Iridin. Here, right in the middle of all of it. And more specifically, as is traditional with any new starting D&D campaign, in a tavern called the Wayfarer's Inn. Aww. Uh, the system is going to be Dungeons and Dragons 5e, for those interested. And let's now see who and what our party is. So, Cram Tackle, who are you in game? I am Bjorn, Iron Fist, a dwarf, part soldier, traveler from all along these lands. I have trembled across from far west to far east. I've been everywhere. 
I've met many foes, and I've been many battles. I like to drink, I like the women, and I like to fight. What else is there to it? That's that's about it. That's about it. Good exception. And I've, is that your <laughs> first D and D character, if I'm correct? That is my first D and D character. Yes. Yeah. Indoctrinated. <laughs> yes. I wanted to say <laughs> cherry pops, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's let's talk to our other well. Nearby, she's been she's played the uh, LARP before, I think, Fuzzy. Uh, LARP and White Wolf, yeah. So, White Wolf. Um, so White who Wolf is your D and D character? <clears throat> okay, mine is uh, Finn Rosy. She's a halfling rogue, sort of confidence trickster type uh, scumbag, but cheerful, happy scumbag, you know. Uh, so yeah, she's just like All right, charm the literal pants off people and then sell them for a profit, probably, if the dice go my way. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's it. It's that's a it? standard row. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but don't include as many details as you want. If you want people to really get your fan out good, like appearance stuff. If you have any in particular, wow. I'll, say, I'll say I've got uh, just, uh, what physical description or <laughs> yeah, basically we. Uh, okay, well, uh, I can't remember how tall I made it, but yeah, she's basically short, ginger. And uh, freckles, and just generally kind of like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Nailed exactly. It. Nailed it. <laughs> Justin, who are you going to be in the world of Iron? Uh, uh, I'm going to be a nature cleric named Gregor Mendal. Uh, and y y he's kind of a scientist, except. Instead of trying to prove scientific theories, he's trying to prove that gods do in fact exist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody's got a, a objective, a mission. It's it's good to have dreams, dude. And uh, he, his last name Mendal comes from the fact that he literally can walk around and just magically mend things, and he attributes his ability to gods, even though no one believes it. They think it's just magic, as if that makes it any more realistic. Nonsense. <laughs> okay, yeah. Neil. Hi, I am Reginald Scalesplitter, and I spent the entire pre-show making a character sheet on hard copy, <laughs> and somehow I lost it. <laughs> my room is not that big, and I have lost my character sheet, so... Um, I am Reginald Scalesplitter, a... You didn't a even get human... up! I, I... <laughs> the entire time you guys were introducing you yourselves... No, they... no, my butt's not that big. It is... <laughs> There's literally nowhere for it to have gone. I, I don't know. Down the back of the desk, bet you. Yeah, maybe. We'll, we'll find it later. <laughs> um, I am a human noble sorcerer. A um, little bit, you know, average height for a human male, 5'10-ish. I'm a little on the heavier side. I've given a, I present a very large target if you want to hide behind me. Um, that said, I do come from a family with a strange and somewhat... Uh, draconic bloodline, which gives me a slightly coppery scale appearance. Maybe kind of brassy coppery um, all over my hands and face and any exposed skin, really. <laughs> so I've got a, a little bit of a weird look to me. Other than that, I am you know, a charming, jovial, happy, wealthy, portly, tall man, average height man, I guess, who happens to have a pension for fire. Perfect. Okay, and last but not least, Elf, who are you? Okay, so I'm going to be playing a character named Findira. Oh! She's a gnome <laughs> monk raised by wolves. That's why her last name is... Anyway, you get it. Um, she, she, she's about three, four, uh, three foot four. She wears a, a, like a wolf pelt head, headdress, you know, that like is yeah, so like large that it, like tra that it like trails the ground. She's got some scars on her face. You know, she's like hardcore, right? <laughs> um... And, you know, mm -hmm. from the wilds, like, really, uh, really tough uh, gnome uh, female. Uh, yeah. So she's, she's, she's pretty badass. She, she punches things with her tiny little fists. She wasn't afraid of anything. So there you go. That's Findira. Findira, ow! <laughs> okay. So um, now we jump into character. You guys are in the Wayfarer's Inn in Eredin. And you've been looking for a job lately. 
to trying to scrounge up some gold for yourself. Um, How do we know each other? You guys <laughs> basically know each other by being adventurers and teaming up. Uh, in a usually five or four is the number that adventurers tend to uh, set out in. More than that, and the route is not enough for everybody. Less than that, and it's too dangerous to go out. Okay. So we've just kind of worked odd jobs together as mercenaries? Yeah, you don't know each other that much. Um, but you've sort of been... like, no, she had the round sort of thing. Like, nodding acquaintances or something, was it? Exactly. And... We, we casual job work together. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Okay, so we're, we're, we're in the tavern, the Wayfair Inn, right? We're looking yep. for a job. So, uh, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the lead here. Um, F Findira's, like, sitting at a long, you know, one of the long tables, uh, in the, in the center of the, the, the tavern. Um, she is drinking what, for her, could only be described as a way too large, like, mug <laughs> of, of ale. Because she's like 3-4, so, you know, like a pint, it's like a good-sized mug for her, and she's not making a very good job of it. It's like spilled, there's like puddles of ale around her. She's clearly been here for like a couple of hours, just knocking them back. So, there, there, you know, that's where, that's where I'm at, doing that. Okay, everybody else? What are you guys doing in the Wayfarer's Inn? Uh, Wayfarer's West. Reginald uh, I'm just kind of like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I've I just, I just sort of like slid in and I'm like looking around like... And I spot um, Findir and I'm just there like, alright, yeah. Sort of like just going in, insinuate myself next to her and just be like, alright, how you doing? Alright? Alright? She, 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 she turns to look at you and then goes... Right. And then turns back and just downs the rest of whatever she's drinking and goes, Next round's on you then, is it? So, what are we doing? <laughs> uh, I think you, it was your round, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, alright. Alright. Two! <laughs> Coming! <laughs> and you see like this Excuse kind me. of quite fat lady that you know by the name of Matilda com coming over with like more uh, just big pints of wooden <clears throat> uh what do you call those uh wooden mugs filled with ale just tankers, flashes them on sort of tankers, tankers yes tankers. exactly Pinera puts them like on the table and says one, one copper each she has a awesome. very manly voice she <laughs> Pindera digs in her her like belt pouch pulls out a copper and just Puts it on the table and slides it over. Oh wait, two right. He gets another one, slides it over, and then pushes Jeez, one I'll, of the. I'll get. I'll, I'll get the next one. Takes it. Reginald okay. takes the gold Good. point out, slides it, throws it down the table, says, "Another chicken over here, and maybe a couple of bottles of wine, and some she apples." Looks at a coin, <laughs> kind of like, and some blueberries if you have them. Kind of like <laughs> a little this. bit of cream. Hey, I've got the big spender over there. Ooh. Hey, no, can we change that? She, she, she that, bites that it. chicken to a duck. <laughs> ducks, we have we got more. all that, Missy. We have more ducks. Uh, berries. No berries around here. I can give you one. Apples? Wine. Apples, yeah. I have a couple. All right, well, then instead of berries, peaches. And <laughs> apples. No, oh, see what we have. <laughs> She pockets, she, she puts the gold coin in another pocket, <laughs> and just goes off. I sit there on my own, I'm on a separate table. I separate myself during this time, I look at the bottom of my mug, as it's emptying slowly away. I look down in the bottom there, the table is covered with, like, you can see splatters, dry alcohol on the table, like beer. There's a few mugs in front of me. What would they call it again? Uh, tankards. tankards. Tankards, that's it. A few tankards in front of me. Wooden tankards. I just sit there on my own, my head down. And I just drink. I look at the bottom of my mug. I keep my eyes on the bottom of the mug. Uh, I'm sitting off at a table by myself with I a call bunch of papers like, Here, mate, spread out. <laughs> <laughs> with a bunch of papers spread out in front of me and I'm like squishing things down and like no, no, that's not right that, mm, how do I convince people just okay. very focused on my paperwork 
Everybody seems you're to be trying added. to do paperwork in the busy tavern. Oh, <laughs> you poor soul. I'm an I'm an I'm an adventurer. I don't have a home. I sure. gotta do it somewhere. <laughs> when when the person comes with my ch uh, my duck, it better be duck. Let me know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it takes it takes it takes a bit. You can so, finish all that, mate. Of course, but if you would like some, you're more than welcome to it. Please, there's more than oh, enough to go around. Nice. There you go. I just yoink sort uh, of like, I just <laughs> wrench yeah, up like a chicken Just like egg reach, and... a, reach a hand over and just <laughs> take whatever's in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Never offer um, food to a halfling, you idiot. <laughs> he's a generous idiot for now until his wealth runs out, which is going to be really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sort of like, what, 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 yeah, one of the apples just disappears with the dagger. Just chunk. Yeah. Uh, so as the the person brings the food, I want to like reach out and grab the the serving girl's arm, and look her up in the eyes and say, hey, you, "Would you bring you the have, innkeeper around?" You don't have enough arm to actually catch a whole arm again. She's like a very <laughs> I, big I the wrist. Wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I grab her on the wrist. I mean, yeah, kind of. You, you kind of try. Yeah. It, she looks I mean, down the, at the objective you. is to get the attention. Mm -hmm. It's not as restraining maneuver. Yeah. A, what do you I want? want to talk to. Uh, would you get your innkeeper or your proprietor over here? I would like to have a word with him <laughs> or her. <clears throat> it's just it, that sort of establishment. She looks you up and down. I'll bring my husband. Thank you, good lady. And she kind of starts moving away. Every time she moves away, it seems like you guys just keep a tighter grip on your tankards because they kind of like bounce a bit. <laughs> she just, like, makes the floor shake. <laughs> a bit, a bit. As she walks away, I look at... Okay, God, what are your names? Uh, Findira and Finn? Yeah. Yes? Did yes, you get that too much <laughs> uh, Look at the two of you and go, uh, I take it you two are looking for more work, right? Any type of... Any line always, of work you'd rather always, yeah. do or not do? <laughs> well, Findira, getting stabbed is always a bad thing. Findira like slams her little gnome fist down on the table and goes, "Fighting!" Right, right. I'll I didn't mean me. cross the street. Of course not. That would be wildly inappropriate. I, I, I meant <laughs> any type of moral work that you'd rather do or not do. Moral? Morals. Ah, uh, maybe morals make a good basis for a religion. Maybe that's. Do what you want to get in on this too again? Hey, hey, right. and you, this guy, big guy over in the corner. Hey, come over here. Hold on, we're putting something together. Just like oh, gesturing to the various people around the tavern. Cram, do you do you respond to this? You see this um, human just calling you out. I shake it off for a moment, and I come and sit down. I take my tankards, tankards. one empty one, tankards, one empty one, one full. <laughs> I bring it with me. Yeah, put it put it in my favorite tankard to take on <laughs> with me. Attach it to my pelt, my pelt, my belt. Belt. Pelt. There's a little. There's a I little. I like pelt better. Top pelt. Yeah. yeah to my he's pelt. Quite, he's it. quite hairy, so maybe a pelt. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> to the back tie of it. my. Uh... Just tie it to the beard, you know. <laughs> That's you, it. You have this little dreads made out of your pelt. That's it. And you kind of just hook it around, yeah. Boom. That's it. Tie that up, and I move on over, silently. But I move over. Cheer up, sad sack. What's wrong with you then? <laughs> just wait. Just wait. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, I'll gather my paperwork, make a stack, and stuff it in my bag, and be like, "Okay, what's up?" Well, I'm looking to get paid again. I'm sure a lot of you are, and as you oh, all yeah. know, venturing work is dangerous. I think we've worked. I think I've worked with you before, and I know you two from you know yesterday. And you with the papers, didn't you and I protect what's her name from the goblin guys? Ah, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, anyway, I figure the five of us ought to put something together, and that proprietor over there seems to be the sort of person to hold the keys to our next adventure. Hmm, Hopefully. Interesting. More well. drink, more money, more fighting! Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I like shuffle look... my point a little bit further away. Right. Do you think if gods exist, they have names? Absolutely, everything that exists has a name. I look oh, at yeah. you. Gods. 
names. Just things. I look at you. God, you've got time for gods, really? Come on now. And I wonder how this uncertainty of gods come about when there is such proof with my people as well, as well as outside, that there has to be. And what kind of god I worship, I carry strong with myself in the way that I act in combat out in the normal world, as well as out in the normal world. Just in the middle of just in the middle of this this like talk about gods, Fendira is just gonna go <laughs> and roll her eyes like the largest eye roll we've <laughs> ever seen. Like I really? stare, I stare at you. <laughs> I shake my head, and I back off. I shake my head, and that's it. Okay, so if you actually want to know a bit more, like if you want me to drop some roll on your heads, uh, you can give me a intelligence knowledge check. That means a 1d20 plus your intelligence modifier. Yes, it is not negative. And you can apply history, if you are proficient in history. Ooh, okay. Ooh. okay. That shit. Okay, it's a nine. Not for these things. <laughs> you don't, Reginald. Oh, by the way, Cram, yeah. the cogwheel up above in row twenty, you can change your name to your character name. So whenever you all, everybody's gonna know. Also, add your player names near your character names. So you have uh, Finn Rossi uh, and okay. in brackets your actual name. So when you all in chat, people know who you are because at the moment we don't have any character name plates for you. On it. So if I'm rolling with disadvantage, that's a 5. If I'm just rolling, it's 15. Okay, well, we don't have a disadvantage. I wouldn't trust those dice. Roll those no, fans. I don't think I'm going to do that again. But it was it was up, so it was easy. Yeah. See. Those things are sketchy. Yeah, they're Can sketchy. I get a, a, a race check on all of you guys? I seem to have forgotten what your races are. Human. Gnome. Halfling. Dwarf. Okay. Oh, so three shorties and two humans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and one of each. Oh, this is great. You never yeah. see dwarves, sure halflings, and gnomes all together. It's fantastic. <laughs> Maybe I should re-roll as an elf or something. Make this great work. <laughs> <laughs> Get stabbed to the kneecaps within ten minutes, you know that, right? <laughs> I mean, Justin's playing with us, so it's bound to happen sooner or later. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so... Well, I could say that about you than me. Justin, do you remember the last time I played a sorcerer in 4E? <laughs> yes, yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> I remember... Wasn't his name Kang, too, actually? His name was Kang. This is Reginald. <laughs> yeah. But let's... Oh, God, though. No, yes. Okay, I'll be quiet. It's fine. d, &D fine. memories. We're fine. This uh -huh. this party will is bound to live. The PTSD fine. flashbacks are happening already. Yep. Uh, Draconic okay. bloodline in this one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Gregor, uh, you actually do know a bit of background about the gods. You know that something happened, uh, an event in the past, a cataclysmic event named the Rupture. There's a lot of rumors about what actually happened. But what you know is that after the Rupture, things have gone very bad. There's this corruption that spreads throughout the continent, uh, and it's basically called the Badlands. And that's where it is said that the gods disappeared. The clerics haven't been able to talk to them at all, and the only clerics that actually have any divine powers left are the ones born in Atlas, in the holy city of Atlas. That is just north of Viridin. How can there be a holy city if there's no gods? Do other people think of the city yeah. as holy? It's, uh, I would put it, put it like this. Gods existed before, but they disappeared in the rupture. So why are they oh. still holy? Well, that's totally different from no one thinking there's gods if they're just not here anymore. So no. the question but is, people have... how do I prove gods exist? It's how do I get them back? That's way more mm. interesting. Okay, good. Good to know. So you guys sit around, you eat, you, you have... Wait, wait, wait. Why are these sites still holy to us? Um, gods, you're gods, not you exactly know. sure. Basically, the corruption Belgium. cannot... No, the corruption cannot pass through holy sites. Anything once holy cannot be affected by this corruption. That is the only um, fortress that the humans and basically any other race in Erin have had against this uh, cataclysmic event that's been consuming the continent easily. Oh, interesting. That gives me all sorts of theological grounds for research. 
That's Sorry, my character's spicy. a nerd. I don't know if anyone got that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a nerd, but my, my character is also literally a nerd. <laughs> Found it. My character's a nerd. Yes. Where was it? <laughs> Off on the side of my desk. <laughs> okay, okay. We... We, we you found it. that's what's important. Yeah. Okay, so um, in a couple of minutes after you guys just talk, as I said, eat and drink, this man comes inside of the inn. Voices Wait, the go. The proprietor. The proprietor never came to hang out, and talk to us. The proprietor hasn't shown up yet now. Okay. Well, just quite. I mean, it's understandable because the inn is completely and utterly full. Okay. You see this man coming in. He has a black eye patch on his left eye, a flowing black beard, and a scar on his left cheek. He has this big great sword on his back, and as I said, mostly everybody in the inn is silent when he enters. He goes directly to the bar, and after a couple of minutes he kind of blends in. Um, anything specific you guys want to do? Does he have a serious look on his face or a jovial look? Does he, he has look a, like he's here with friends? He has a serious look. It doesn't seem like this man is capable of a jovial look. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna look him over and see how wealthy he looks and sort of whether he's got any like valuables on him or or whatever. He doesn't seem to have a money pouch per se, but he has a backpack. I look him up and down. I try to figure out what his deal is and if I could take him in a fight. <laughs> I also do that. <laughs> <laughs> the proprietor shows up. Uh, and oh, we've got nutters. He looks nutters. around. Uh, which which one of you uh, called me? Over here, big boy. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> this man is quite scrawny. Like his, you'd say he's a gnome, <laughs> but he's a bit taller than a gnome. He's a human and he's very skinny. Well, first and foremost, you should take half of your wife's food and eat it yourself. Um, secondly speaking, ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. you look like the kind of man in the know, the kind of guy that people come to and talk to, that, that knows what's happening in and around this part of town, in this part of the world. And I'd like to offer you, us, as a reference to any clients you may have looking for a little bit of a I point to the tall, well, I guess he's not tall, the, the dwarven barbarian. Any muscle? Or pointing to Justin's character, whose name I can't remember. Uh, any brains? Or anything else? I say with a flourish pointing to me and the other two characters. Vindira <laughs> is just like nodding emphatically along with this, this conversation. Just, yeah. Yeah. I'm just giving well, you a winning uh, smile. I'm not sure you're new in town, maybe. Haven't seen Murphy come in? He kind of like nods towards the eye patch guy at the bar. Tall, dark, and scary. Tall, dark, and <laughs> scary. That's him. He leads a small caravan. Usually, when he comes here, he's looking for men or women, if they're hardy enough. Thanks for the heads up. Well, um, as I said, if you see us hanging out and have some other work, feel free to drop a by. You know. I will, I will, but you know, sometimes my memory gets forgetful. Well, that's a shame. There'd be a 10% finder's fee for anyone that sets up with legitimate work. Oh, that that sounds like it would sharpen my memory. Excellent. Um, now, what did, what did you say that tall guy's name was again? The tall, dark, and scary guy? Murphy. Just in, in case I care. Okay, Murphy. Alright, thanks, buddy. Have a good night. Has he, has he made any laws? <laughs> you nerd. <laughs> no, he, he shakes his head. Hasn't made any laws. He's just an adventurer. Oh, that's weird. I could have sworn. No, never mind. And the proprietor goes back behind the bar, uh, continue on serving his grinds. What do you guys do? A look at the others. Guys thinking what I'm thinking. Talk to that guy? Uh, another oh, round well. of wine is what I was thinking, but sure. That's good yeah. too! Yeah, yeah! I... Have some wine, and then, yeah, but I think we should talk to that guy. I think we should yeah. talk to him, because he, uh, I, yeah, I, 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 I was thinking that you should go right? talk to that guy. I slam yeah. my tankard down. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh I slam my tankard down. Aye, right, let's do it. 
Let's do it. All right. Okay. Eventually, wine is Could brought about. Meet shields. I mean, um, <laughs> hardy <laughs> adventurous companions. <laughs> <laughs> Well, did I say, did I say I that heard you have a shield to meet. Uh, Do you approach okay, so. the person? Or, uh... Well, well you, you said eventually <laughs> wine is brought, right? Yes. So wine comes, Findera takes a long, like, swig of one of the wine bottles, then hops up from her chair, and or like stool or whatever near the table, and, and slides over. She's no taller sitting than she is standing. Uh, <laughs> and she, she, uh, she makes her way over towards Murphy. And uh, stands directly behind him, and goes, "Hey, you!" The man I see the potential around. for damage here, and I slide under the table, well, <laughs> grabbing a bottle, of, grab a bottle of wine, slide under the table, and come and sort of pop up behind you, just ready to like lay on the charm if anything goes horribly wrong. <laughs> the man turns shove, around, shove the wine in my bag. looks down mm. at you. I take my time to start walking behind her. What do you want? <laughs> Work. Work? You smell like booze from half a mile away. I don't need drunkards in my caravan. Oh no, she's, she, she spilled some on herself. She's fine, she's fine. Don't worry about it, mate. Only drunk in the tavern! How many oh, are no, you? No. Well, let's not be hasty, Mr. Mustache? Was that what your name was? She looks you straight <laughs> into the eye and sends a Murphy. chill down your spine. Yes, that's my name. <laughs> Alright, mate, nice so, to meet you. I'm Finn. Good at the fire. Offer my hands to be shook. Alright. Uh, he doesn't shake your hand. <laughs> so there, there, there are five of us. Good. For a package deal. Yeah, I need men. We have, but, a, we have a valuable range of talents, mate. Valuable. Worth a lot of money. Yeah. We'll be going into the bad ones <laughs> if you're still interested. Well, yeah, that's a that reaction pay. I didn't suspect. That, that pays more, that's right? That's what the plans are. Hold on. Fin, fin, Findera, Findera gives this guy like the biggest, the toothiest grin you've ever seen, but the teeth are like <laughs> yellow and some are missing and like really jagged looking. There you go. <laughs> hmm. Well, I can pay you now. Usually this is the choice I give all my hirelings. You can either get 10% of what we find there. Or I can pay you gold by the day. How likely are we to find something good out there? What's your average return? Yeah. How many trips have you made to the Badlands and what's your average return? Uh, what are yeah, you let's, let's talk statistics here, mate. <laughs> Am I the only one that cares about what we're actually doing out there? Yes. No. <laughs> I've got, like, I, I, I pull, like, a pen and sort of, like, a pencil and some, pa some sort of, like, um, paper type stuff out of the thing, I'm just there like... Mm, okay. We have this contract <laughs> from a couple <laughs> of uh, clerics in Atlas. We're supposed to go to a ruined temple in the Badlands. Mm, north what east kind of, of temple? here. Not sure. I don't okay, think even uh, they remember. Traps? Traps? I said you. Monsters? Horrible, found, horrible things living in the cellars? Haven't found <laughs> anything outside in the Badlands that hasn't got traps and monsters. Yeah, uh, true, true. But like, are we talking like horrible tentacle face monstrosities that'll like sort of tear your soul out your body, or just normal like goblins and things? No, this is in the outskirts of the bad ones. The corruption doesn't go that far yet. All oh, right, okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. So when you when you say a percentage, you mean a percentage of the things we bring back, then, right? What what kind of percentage are we talking about? Ten percent. Okay, are I'll these things the are, they, are they big I'll and bulky? Or are they small and easily concealable? Just just ask it. <laughs> Whatever you find in there, besides the holy books we're supposed to retrieve, is yours to keep. The 10% we all share amongst each other. And is it just the five of us and you, or are there more? My personal bodyguard, my son, and the cook. So, um, what happens if uh, anybody dies? Does their share get shared between the rest of us? Yeah. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So Eight people, that means you're taking 20% cut, your son gets 10%, cook gets 10%, we all get 10%. Why does the cook get 10%? Well, actually, That's okay, a good cook is valuable, out. yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, no, come on, let's face it, food is important. Well, well I, I guess said. your people. I get people so during, My people! During this entire conversation... Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to 
trying to say? <laughs> Do people eat a lot? What are you trying to say about halflings? I'm, I'm are trying you to say, to say you that we are obsessed with food? I'm saying I haven't seen you not <laughs> eating food since I first met you. You should be proud of it. You've got a stomach that works like a cow. <clears throat> I think you're you're so, applying unfair stereotypes. So, so during this entire you're conversation, wow. Findira is just standing there, like, like waiting for it to be over so she can get paid. Like she 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 has no idea what you guys are talking about when you're like statistics <laughs> and percentages and stuff. She's just like gold. Yeah. <laughs> I can I pay you two gold a day, or ten percent of what we find. Each of you 10%, I get 30, my son gets 10, and a bodyguard gets 10. I'll take the percentage. I'll take the percentage, I think. Me as well. Aww. Same for me. Yeah, I'm in for that. <laughs> Pindira looks at you all like, what? what? <laughs> uh, it's, it work out better, love. It'll work out better. Trust me on this. Trust me. Okay, okay that! I look down at Pindira. <clears throat> I shake my head. I let out a little sigh. A grunt, and I just step back. What is wrong with you, you sound sack? Come on! Hey, okay, I'm, I'm the strong silent type, okay? It's hard to be the strong silent type in, in, in RPG games. You gotta, like, describe everything you're doing instead of just saying things. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And then you get the uh, cheerful ones going, Come on, cheer up, mate! <laughs> That's it. Yep. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, sounds good. Nice one, mate. Cool. Get ready. Bye. You will be leaving tomorrow. Do you have your... Have you ever been in the Badlands? Mm -hmm. Of course I have, but Rachel explain twice, to me bit, again yeah. like it's my first time. <laughs> <sighs> well, Slowly, just in case there's other people watching that need to understand what the Badlands are. Nods his head. Not you me. Mean, they pointing towards Justin. You need your your oh, necklaces. Really? If you don't have your crystal necklaces, all your food and your water is gonna get corrupted. They'll fill it with water, and he kind of like shows you, like Wait, takes okay. out a small crystal receptacle at his neck, and shows you it's filled with water, mm -hmm. and it's three quarters black for him. He says it's gonna be it's gonna get blacker and blacker the longer you're there. We place How it much each do they week. Work, then? Nah, not much. Uh, I got this off the Quirics. They give us a couple of extra ones f to higher what hands. I'll give them to no. you tomorrow. Make sure if you use this, your normal water is gonna get contaminated. And if that happens, you're dead. And uh, how many days are we gonna be spending out in the Badlands? Three days is gonna take us to make it to the abandoned temple three days back. We should make it on the verge. The crystals usually last seven. Good enough. How much water do you need for seven days, Justin? I know you why know do you just, I, I, Why do you just assume I know these things? Because so, you do. How much <laughs> water do you need? I, I, I actually know how to, res <laughs> to um, respond to you on this. Water skins will keep you alive for three days. One water skin. Uh, and you can basically stay alive three to four days without the water skin. That's your max. Okay. It, it so... depends. Strictly speaking, it depends on the environment. That that is the important variable that most people miss. In a desert, you need a lot more water. Yeah. Basically, that's that's the and rule that we need. Size as well. On. So halflings, I'm assuming, need less water than and dwarves and gnomes. Yeah. As well. a standard a standard size here. human. A standard size human needs like about three liters per day to be in ideal health. In a desert, you need three liters per day just straight up not to die. Yeah. So basically, a it's water a skin is going to keep you alive. So basically, two, humans are screwed. Two days as a halfling, one day as a human, or basically oh. any medium creatures as a dwarf as well, in the desert, and you need a lot more water. Said, I thought you just said that humans can survive two to three days on a water skin. Without being in the bad ones. Just oh, okay. normal water. This is like yeah. you're entering a desertic uh, environment. <sighs> So, uh, so water is valuable out in the bad, out in the uh, badlands, is it? Nods his head. Well, yeah, it is. The only creatures that are out there would most likely kill you, then barter with you for it. Hmm. 
So, are there any ways of finding water out in the Badlands then? I know, I see you, what like, I, have I don't know, dig a hole and, you know, no. or. Only in the temples. What was temples. it my granddad taught me? The thing where you you, you put like a, a a skin sort of thing and then the bowl under it and the dew in the morning. I uh, I, I invite Murphy outside for a second. Uh, he looks at his ale cup, drains it. Come on, what do you want? I'm gonna try and sneak out and eavesdrop on them. <laughs> if if Murphy puts his his uh, tankard back down on the bar. Uh, Fendira's gonna, uh, as he walks away, Fendira's gonna, like, reach up, because, you know, she's, like, 3-4, yep. and, like, check to see if there's anything left in it, and then, uh, Nothing, yep. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and sort of, like, slyly just sort mm -hmm. of, like, sidle out it and stay within earshot of them. Give, me, of give me a stealth check. Uh, what, what do I need to roll for stealth So, check? that's a 1d20 plus your dexterity modifier, okay. and you are oh, also okay. proficient. You're so also that's... proficient in stealth, so that's an additional plus two. So that's, t wait, hang on, so that's 1d20, so it's 24, 26? No, wait, it's a 1d20. No, 1d20 plus 6 is 8. Yes. Right, okay. Uh, oh god, where's the thingy gone? Right, okay. Um, right, hang on, I've lost the roll thing. Oh god, where's the roll <laughs> thing gone? It's the chat, down below. Yeah. Uh, what's the, yeah, I can't remember what the actual command for it is, though. Uh, slash R, space, right, slash R. 1d20, mm -hmm. plus 6. D 20. 6. There we go. Yo, nice. you're wow. pretty damn wow. good. There's so many oh, people God. around in this bar <laughs> that you just go between their feet, and you slide yeah. around <laughs> behind the tables and below the yeah, tables. Under somebody's skirt. <laughs> you can hear them perfectly. So, uh, Gregor, what do you talk to Murphy about? I uh, ask him to look up, and then in a 30 foot square area, 10 gallons of water suddenly rain from the sky. Hex. Oh, you're one of them, uh, one of them people from Iris, from the Mage Tower. Well, that's yeah, gonna be useful. Like Something like that. What do you think? Uh, I can give you 10 gallons of water a day. Is that worth an extra 5% to you? Shakes his head. Not gonna help. Unless it's you cast it inside of the water tank. It's gonna get corrupted in a matter of seconds. I look at a trough. And I cast the spell again. And the trough fills with water. I can put it wherever you need it. Keep that ability to yourself. Most would kill you if they knew we could do that. Well, that's why I took us outside. Hell. Are we outside with him, or did it was just the two of you? No, just the two of you. Um, and me, eavesdropping. <laughs> right. Yes. yes. Right, right, right. Finn Ozzy is there, kind of eavesdropping. Well, nonetheless, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have some preparation to do. Tell your friends to be ready. Yes, sir. Okay, kind of like so she walks the way around. They, uh, yeah, I, I kind of hide as you, as you go back in the tavern. <laughs> I don't think my perception is high enough to see you, even if I rolled a 20. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just there going on. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll go out to uh, Reginald. Be like, he says to, uh, to be ready to move out tomorrow. Excellent! We should order some more samosas before we go. They're delicious here. D during... I pop up again. Oh, somebody say samosas! Dur during the time you that you see? guys were... Always <laughs> eating the food! <laughs> <laughs> during the time that the, those two were talking and, and uh, uh, Finn was, was listening, uh, Findera is going to be trying to challenge uh, Bjorn to an arm wrestling competition uh, on the table. She's got her arm out. She's just like, let's go. Bjorn, how do you react to this? I look at your hands. Place it up on the table, take a drink from my tankard, and prepare. We're locked in the middle. Right, Neil, I kind of okay. nudge you in the ribs. Okay. Roll, so, I guess. <laughs> both of you? Oh, I nudge you in the ribs oh sorry, sorry. I was <laughs> yeah. contemplating the, the samosas. Do you think we should go with the mutton or the chick? <laughs> oh, we're doing wait, a hands wait, thing. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm Who sorry. Do you yeah. mind? Oh, right, right. I, I quickly gold, joined this. One gold, one gold on the dwarf, I reckon. 
One gold on the dwarf, all right? What do you reckon? Gold on the dwarf, you're taken? Yeah. No? To win. No? What? No. What? what? <laughs> Sorry, I, I was looking at the menu. I have no idea what you guys were talking about. All right, if the dwarf wins, you give me gold, all right? They're doing What's Scandibury in front of you. Yeah, I'm whistling in front of you. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, no, <laughs> fuck shit. That's, no, I'm not betting on the dwarf. <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> no, I haven't... Gregor, no, Gregor, no, no. What, what about you then? Gold, what do you reckon? Reckon? Yeah? You taking? Well, we'll go uh, I think about it. I, uh, I reach out and, like, feel... What is it? Finn's arm? Findira, yeah. While, su Findira. while subtly I'm casting Finn, she's guidance. Findira, get it right, come on. While subtly casting guidance. Be like, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'll take that bet. Okay, so uh, both of you now give me opposed strength checks. So that's 1d20 plus your strength bonus. And Finn gets uh, an additional 1d4. Yay! Oh! Ooh! Wow! Wow, okay. no way. Give me a second here, I got this, I got this. <laughs> come on, come on, chant, chant the Bulgarian powers. <laughs> okay, is, I think I typed this up right, hold on. No, okay, wait, 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 I got this. Come on, come on, mommy needs a new pair of shoes, come on. Oh, uh, dude, oh. we're gonna have to... Okay, oh, I'm writing this out wrong, hold on. This is not coming out right. Plus... Got this yarn. Something like that. Yeah. Yep, exactly like that. Oh, I'm doing a space between the D and the 20 for some reason. Okay. Yeah, so. Oh my god! You're almost there! Almost! This is not working! <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. We can do this, guys. Oh my god. God, Clam! God. What? You. The oh, dwarf oh, tries his red. best. Red. But. Oh, Fendua is just... Ah! And Fendua just plumps as the dwarf's the, hand the dwarf's, on the as ground. Soon as, as soon as Bjorn's hand hits the table, like, on, uh, on, uh, like, hits the surface, she pushes it down, she lets go, and she jumps up from the table, and she goes like, ah! <laughs> I move away, I pull my hand out. I'm drunk. <laughs> Don't look at me, I'm drunk. I turn <laughs> around... <laughs> <laughs> I turn around to the bar and I get more drinks. I'm I'll, uh, drunk too. I'll take my gold now. <laughs> I give Gregor kind of a, a slightly weird look. Yeah, I give Gregor a slightly weird look, and I'm just there going like, yeah. Oh, you know what? Damn it! I left my I left my um, damn. I left my uh, my coin purse in my in my other um. I'll, I'll pay you back later, all right, mate. I'll pay you back. I left the coin purse. I'm so <laughs> sorry. She's mate. never I'm gonna so pay you back. Don't even bother trying. It's okay. I'll just take that out of your share. I'll pay my debts eventually. Years or the people die. You remember Timmy from three weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. No one remembers Timmy. No? He owed you Timmy? some. Never heard of him. No. Yeah. People named him. He owed him just... some money and, and he just paid out of to him. die. Just happened to fall look, down that look. pit. Don't, look, don't worry about it. Anybody could have slipped down that pit. And it was dangerous. There was The fence was broken. All right? It, I, it was yeah, slippery. It was raining. The fence was broken. There were saw marks on the fence. Somebody greased the road. Obviously, obviously, um, <laughs> it was just a terrible accident. Obviously, I I, I completely it agree. Was... Watch yourself. I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think those samosas hit the spot. Nobody ever. Put uh, I'm going to go to bed. Fun. Don't don't drink too much. The Badlands sound like a hell of a place for a hangover. Uh, good night. Hey. I take the rest of uh, my tankard, I pour it into the tankard that's tied around my beard, put the lid on it, and I head to bed. I, uh, <laughs> I take the rest of Reginald's food and just like whack it in a bag. Just, <laughs> 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 just... Okay, sounds good. Vendera uh, will wait until, like, find a dark wait until the tavern quiets down and then just try and sleep on the floor. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it seems like the bartender sees you doesn't actually do anything, seeing that you were with a party that 
Well, gave him a bit of money today, so... Yeah, she's just using the, like, tolerated. wolf pelt. She's using the wolf pelt that she has as, like a, like, a headdress that, like, drags the ground. She's using it as a blanket. She just, like, has it on the ground. She's just, like, lying on top of it. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay. I'm just going to devour a bunch of food, and then just kind of... And do you have a wolf pelt? It's a really big, yeah. nasty-looking wolf. It's an enemy wolf. Ah. Because <laughs> wolves I mean, wear the pelts of enemies. Try to take over my pack with you. Well, this one does. I mean, if I had a rival and I bested my rival, I don't think I would skin him and sleep Wear with him. But you're not Fendira. Wolf, though. But you're right, I am not Fendira. This is true. Okay. Some people she skins Stop her rivals and then wears their skin. It's going to be horrific later. Oh my god, this is going to be wonderfully yeah. horrible. Strike fear <laughs> into the hearts of their enemies. Right, yeah, I'm just going to devour all this food and then just kind of like, sort of like... Fall, as fall asleep, well, sort of like fall into a doze, sat sort of propped up in it on a, on a chair in the corner, just like one eye half open, just like light sleeping. Okay, and Gregor, what do you do? Ugh. I'm gonna get some sleep. That's uh, That actually sort of wore me out. All right. Make sure to take out one server if you intend to sleep in the rooms upstairs. So, for example, Neil, you take one server off your character sheet. Yes, sir. Okay, I and I think that's about it for our first segment.